Well, hello, my peeps. It's Antoinette here. It's Saturday night, and uh, I'm watching um, a marathon of Ozark. Have you seen that? Comment below if you have. I'm on the third season, I think. Now, uh, yeah, it's pretty darn good. But um, I'm getting hungry now, and I am very excited about this. So, uh, you know, I have always gotten these crepe thins, these egg thins, uh, with cauliflower, zero carbs, from uh, Costco. But I was very excited last time I went because they had the big one. I couldn't believe it. So these have been in my freezer, both of these. And um, so I decided to make tonight some quesadillas. I bought this quesadilla maker. This is the uh, the El Paso Chili Company quesadilla maker. Um, I bought this one day when I was at Goodwill when we were you know, <laughs> when they let us go shopping a um, couple months ago. I've not ever used this, um, but when I saw these, I thought, oh, per perfect. I'm gonna try these because it's zero carbs, and that would be, you know, my original plan was I was going to make uh, some tortillas and try making quesadillas in here, but uh, we're gonna do it this way. It'll be super simple. I do love these. Now, I will tell you, a lot of people don't. Um, I don't think it has much flavor at all, but what it does have is the consistency of what you want. I would not do little breakfast burritos with these, and you put all the flavor on the inside because, uh, to me, they, there's very little taste involved in the actual uh, wrap. But... Um, I am a fan of these. So, I'm gonna chop up some veggies and uh, um, probably watch a little bit more of this, this episode. I'm on season three, episode three. And uh, Jason Bateman just got back home. So, we're gonna find out what's going on there. <laughs> All right, when the veggies are chopped, I'll be right back. Stay tuned. I have about a quarter cup of uh, diced onions and uh, one plum small fine tomato. For chicken, this is quick and easy stuff here. You know, not a lot of cooking because I'm busy watching Ozark. But this is uh, Walmart's Great Value Premium Chicken Chunks. It's the best. And uh, it's the lowest carb. Well, you know, they're all zero carb, but this one has the lowest starch. I'm going to plug this in. All right, it works. <laughs> yeah, I haven't used it, so yeah. The light is on. It needs to turn green. Um, what I made for cocktail is I love my uh, banana Bacardi with the skinny syrups, uh, banana split. You know, it's really a good thing that I had gotten another bottle from Tuesday morning before they closed down. Uh, so yeah, I'm good on that for a while. And then I take my soda stream and just uh, carbonate some water. And uh, that's my cocktail. I have, you know, just a small shot of the Bacardi and then just really a little splash of the banana split and the rest is carbonated water. Delicious. While the old El Paso is heating up, I want to go ahead and get my dipping sauce together. Uh, I want to get that in the fridge for a little while before uh, we make the um, a quesadilla. All right, I have a bunch of all these products. Here's their pesto sauce. They have a little red sauce too, but um, that I don't have. I do have 
their chili sauce, which will be coming up next. So I'm just going to, uh, you know, just eyeballing this. I'm gonna put two of these heaping teaspoons of the pesto sauce in my bowl. Next, I have all these minced chili sauce with garlic. Grab two of those too. Mix that together. Mm -mm. Okay. That smells great. Next, a little bit of horseradish. Bermans, also from Aldi's. Not much of this. This goes a long way. One small squirt. About that much. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm smelling a little Mexican here. Lastly, onion juice and garlic juice. Just a splash of each. These I get at Pick and Save or Kroger. I'm just gonna put a little capful. Capful of each. All right, one last thing. A squirt of Daisy sour cream. So that's it. So there it is. I'm just going to mix this up. It looks great. And there's my quesadilla dipping sauce. Very low carb. Both lights are on now. So um, I'm just gonna let that heat up a little while. I'm gonna open it up a bit. Right, at least I know it works. I'm going to cover up my sauce and put it in the refrigerator for a little while. I want this a little bit chilled. So we'll be back in a flash. Okay, my sauce is in the fridge, but this is ready now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it going. Now, with these uh, cauliflower egg wraps, they are super, super thin. Now this is like $10. Let's see, how many are in here? 14 wraps for $10. Um, maybe it's nine, might be $8.99. It, it, it depends. But I was surprised that the small ones are the same price as the large ones. So that makes no sense to me, but I was glad to see it. Now I am taking two because they are super duper thin. They're very thin. Um, I'll show you. I mean, they are paper thin. So I am going to keep two of them together I think what I'm going to do though is put back to back, put the back sides together so that I have the rougher side on the outside. All right, I'm gonna spray. Let me spray it. Just a little, it's non-stick. All right, I'm gonna throw this on there. Perfect size. All right, now, when I went to Myers last time I went shopping, I have not been out in the wilderness since the last video. Um, so I've just been here working at home. I am very fortunate that I have a job and can work at home. So I am very grateful for that. Um, 
my, uh, I'll have to show you, but my niece and nephew, they came over, uh, they went and got my sister's sewing machine and they started making masks and they're gonna sell them on eBay, but they brought me one. So uh, I do have a mask to wear next time I go out shopping. I'll show it to you at the end of the video. All right, let's throw this in. Supremo Mexican cheese. Chia Ahua. <laughs> Authentic quesadilla cheese. So I look at it and I'm wondering, well, what kind of cheese is that? And it doesn't really say. It just says authentic Mexican cheese. So got a lot of it. All right, that's melting down already. Let's load it up with some cheese. Now with these tortillas, it's not going to take long. Um, let's see. Put some chicken on top. Of course, you can put whatever you want to put on here, but um, I'm just doing chicken, onion, and tomato. I love tomatoes, so. And love onion. This should be nice and thick. What a quick and easy dinner. A little more cheese on the top. And then two more egg wraps on top. This is loaded. All right. I'm gonna shut it. Oh. It's really overloaded. It doesn't really shut. I may have it too thick, but that, you know, that's how I like it. All right. We'll see you when it comes out. It's very interesting. So it does sink down after it starts to cook. So it did shut. And it's just like cooking a waffle. So it's still smoking. Oh, it looks beautiful. <laughs> All right, I'll pull it out when I plate it up. I'm gonna let it cool off a bit. This is way better than Cadoba. Or what is the other one I have on the corner? Um, I never go to. Uh, yeah. There's another one on the corner I never go to. Moe's. Mexican Grill. Yeah. But look at it. This thing really works great. I really do love it. And the sauce. Uh, it's rather spicy. <laughs> quite delicious so I'm just gonna get a bite now in looking at this I don't necessarily need to put so many layers of the crepini on there but uh, well it does make it more sturdy let's dip it in my sauce this is one hearty meal I'm loving the sauce that is delicious Mm. Okay, I'm going to go finish watching this. Well, I'll be watching it all night. But let me show you the masks. So first, I bought a mask on eBay. And, but... It was all wrong. It didn't, it didn't fit. One side is um, much shorter than the other side, so it doesn't, it doesn't fit, or <laughs> it doesn't stay on my ears. Plus, I wore it once. I managed to wear it once, um, but it's flannel, so it's very hot. I was like suffocating in this thing. So I did talk to the seller about it. She's making me a new one. So she's adding an inch to the other side and I picked new material. 
uh, definitely flannel is not the way to go. But the one my niece and nephew made me was this, and I really do like this design. I love the American flag, but I'm not so sure about these long strings you're supposed to tie around like this. Um, I think I prefer the hoops, the elastic things to go around your ears rather than this, but I do like this design. And he's got this nice piece of metal in here. So this one did nothing but fog up my glasses. So anyway, everybody's making them. Now here in Wisconsin, I had one of those governors who shut us down until, uh, it, it's ridiculous, till May 26th. We only have um, 196 dead um, statewide, and then um, only like 2,000 cases, everybody else recovered. It's really overkill. Uh, I don't know. Tell me what you think about all this shutting down because we need to get back to work. I mean, people who aren't working. I mean retail. We need to save those restaurants and and the retail stores. Or otherwise, they're not ever coming back. I can't imagine what it'll be like. All right. I'm going to have dinner and watch Ozark. Thanks for stopping by for another video. And we'll see you next time.